exit plan question comes up in the community every week. You know, we pretty much ask that question and, and the community is split. There are many in the community and we see it on social media also that we kind of get a little upset when amazing black companies sell, right? Um, so let's just talk a little bit about that. Why acquisition? Why, why, why are you open to acquisition versus saying, I'm a whole list in the Watson family till I turn 5 million years old, right? So, so the truth is, um, I'm extremely led by, you know, I tell people all the time, I'm not religious. I'm more spiritual, right? And so in three years, I might just, you know, say, this is so amazing. I'm loving it. I'm not giving it up because I have so many thoughts on what block can do in terms of impact, in terms of community. And I know that it's staying in my hands will ensure that those who I want to be impacted by it can, but I do not want to also uh, box myself in because there is no shortage of ideas in my mind as an entrepreneur, as someone that's hungry and just like love innovation. And so to be very honest, I'm like 50-50. And because I know that, I don't feel the need to um, look too far down the road because that can be overwhelming as an entrepreneur, right? Like, so my biggest thing is, what is the impact that I can make right now? What truly matters and who am I trying to impact? And those answers is my community. And that's why I launched this round even, right? Like I could have went straight to VCs and angels, but it was hugely important for me knowing that I am building something big, that I give my community the opportunity to do it now. Because on the other side of raising $4 million, the average check size is easily $50,000, right? And so that just boxes out everybody. Um, so hopefully I answered your question. I know I went around a little you bit, did. but. Yeah. 